If you want to learn more about all the various commands on a Linux system, probably the best resource available to you are what are known as man pages. Now, what are man pages? Man pages are manual pages. They're the instruction manuals for the commands on your Linux system. The way man works is you run man and then name of command to get the man page or the instruction manual. For example, if I didn't know how the ls command worked, I would run man space ls and now I get the man page, the manual for the ls command, which is the list command, Q to quit out of the man page. Now there are many, many thousands and thousands of man pages on your system. It's a gigantic database of man pages and they're broken into sections. If you read the man page for the man command, so run man on man to read the man man page, they tell you about the sections, the main sections that the man pages are broken into. They are broken into nine different sections, basically from section one, which are your executable programs and shell commands, all the way up until section nine, which are kernel routines. And you can actually see where these are located on the system. If I do a ls of slash user share man and just go ahead and hit enter. Uh, we have a lot of man pages in various languages, but if I scroll up, these are actually your main man sections, you know, man 1, 1p, one 2, 3, 3p, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't have a section 9. So these are the directories where the man pages actually live on your system. Let me go ahead and clear the screen. And it's very important to know about the sections because sometimes there will be a command that is in two different man page sections. For example, if you run this command here, man dash F, and I give it a name of a command, let's do the ls command as an example. Dash F it basically finds every reference of ls in the man page database, and it will tell us which section it's in. So you can see ls is actually in two different sections, one and one P. If I want to read specifically the uh, ls man page in section one, I would do man one ls, to read that, or I could do man 1p ls to read that particular man page. By the way, there is an alias for man dash f command. Instead of doing man dash f, you could also do what is. That also works, and I can actually verify that by doing what is ls, and you can see it is the same output as man dash f. Now, one of the coolest commands that you can do with man, and I don't think most people know about this, is you can actually open a man page in a web browser if you would prefer to read it that way. You can do man dash dash HTML and then equals some browser name. For example, if I want to use Brave, I have Brave installed on my system, and I want to read the man page for, let's do CP, the copy command, and I run that. It just opened my browser on a different monitor. Let me show you guys. Now, it just opened opened this and you can see this is the man page for CP itself it converted it to HTML and now I can read it inside my browser. If you happen to have the browser variable on your system, for example on my system I have the browser environment variable set to the Firefox browser. If you happen to have something like that and want to use it you could actually use man dash dash HTML equals dollar sign browser if that variable happens to be set. A couple of other flags that are kind of useful man dash W for where you could do this and instead of reading the man page it will actually give you the actual path to the man page itself. If you want to search for a man page containing a certain string, do man dash K and then do a string such as install, for example, just picking a word out of the air, and that returns all of the man pages that in their name or their description, they had the string install somewhere. And you can see there's a bunch of them that had that particular string. Finally, one last thing you can do, uh, most man pages are just going to default to English, but there are some non-English man pages also in the database. So if you want to specify a specific locale, you can do dash dash locale and then whatever locale you're wanting and then the command. So the man page that you actually want to get. For example, if I wanted to do the uh, German man page for ls, I could do dash dash locale d-e-l-s, for example. And in this case, uh, the man page is actually in English, although I did notice that I do have some German language uh, down here in the um, kind of like a system bar here on the man page. If I up arrow and did something different, maybe the German 
man page for man page, right? So dash dash locale de man. Now I get some German text here. Not every language is going to have a man page for every command. So most things obviously are, are going to have English available, but you may have some other things available as well. One final thing I should mention is that when you read a man page, by default, the pager, the program that is reading the man page, we call it a pager, by default, it usually uses the less command, but you can specify a different pager if you want. You could use the more command. What I'm actually using as my man page reader is actually NeoVim. And the way you specify this, you could do man dash capital P for pager and specify a pager. For example, if I wanted to specify less as the pager, and maybe I want to read the man page for MV, the move command, you can see now I'm using the less command for the pager rather than NeoVim. If you would prefer the more command, you just dash capital P more and then name of command. And if you prefer to do like me and use NeoVim, what you could do is you could do dash capital P and then inside quotes, what you need to do is you need to do NVim space plus capital M lowercase a n exclamation point and then name of command and now you're using NeoVim as your man page reader. Now because I always want my man page reader to be NeoVim rather than less what I've done is I've added a line in all of my shell configs so I've added things to my bash rc my zshrc and my fish config so no matter what shell I'm in I have NeoVim as my man page reader so if I go into my bash rc for example and I scroll down I have a line where I have man pager so that's the variable you need to set and what I've done is I export man pager to nvim plus man exclamation point that way I don't have to specify that every time I run a man page as long as that's in my bash rc and if I'm using bash every time I run man on any command it will run that using nvim as my man page reader if you want to learn more about the man command specifically run man on man in the terminal and read the man page. Uh, it's not very lengthy. There's not a ton of flags and options with man. I've already shown you most of what you can do with it here on camera.